Hi, I am Dr. Selvaraj, your surgical educator from Malaysia. Welcome back to my series of surgical teaching video class. These are meant mainly for undergraduate medical students doing the surgical clux rotation. I promise you will become competent in clinical problem solving and surgical decision making if you are going to watch these videos over and over again. Today, I am going to discuss one more image-based question in vascular surgery. Our patient is a 35-year-old man. <clears throat> he was having a painful lesions in his hands and feet. You can see, this is the lesion here in the fingers. This is the lesion in the foot. He had been smoking 30 cigarettes a day for the past 10 years. His digital angiogram is shown here. This is the digital angiogram. These are the three pictures. These two are clinical pictures. And this is the imaging investigation. And these are the six questions. Question number one, what is the diagnosis? Question number two, define the condition. Question number three, what are the etiological factors? Question number four, what kind of investigations are appropriate in this case? Question number five, what is the investigation in figure three and what are the findings? This is figure three. And question number six, what is the treatment? Now, I request my viewers to pass the video and try to answer all these six questions. So after answering all these six questions, you can verify your answer with the correct answers, which I am going to discuss in the subsequent slides. Question number one, what is the diagnosis? The correct answer is Burgess disease or thromboangitis obliterans or TAO. That is the uh, problem here in this patient. Question number two, define the condition. The exact cause of this pathology is not known. It is a clinical syndrome characterized by segmental thrombotic occlusions of small and medium-sized arteries in the limbs, in both upper and lower limbs. These are accompanied by dense inflammatory infiltrates that affects the arterial wall. Thrombophlebitis of the superficial or the deep veins are also very common. Question number three, what are the etiological factors? The answer is it is the exact eti etiology is unknown, but it is strongly associated with smoking or tobacco use. Question number four, <coughs> what kind of investigations are appropriate in this case? You can do autoimmune screen, thrombophilia screen, fasting glucose, angiography, and echocardiogram. These are all the investigation can be done in this patient. Question number four, what is the investigation in figure three and what are the findings? The correct answer is figure three is digital subtraction angiography of palmar and digital arteries of hand. It shows segmental obliteration of the medium and small size arteries. Digital arteries are characteristically involved in this patient. You can see here the digital arteries. We are not seeing the digital, digital arteries. Digital arteries are characteristically involved 
the collaterals which develop due to the occlusion give a characteristic corkscrew appearance of this digital artery see here we are not seeing the digital arteries but lot of collaterals we can see here that is that gives a characteristic corkscrew appearance for these vessels question number 6 what is the treatment conservative treatment has a great role to play in this disease in tavo majority of our treatment is only conservative cutting smoking is very important unless the patients are going to quit smoking no the disease will will keep on progressing so the first thing is they have to quit smoking that is very important prostaglandin e2 infusion may help the patients during an exacerbation surgery direct arterial surgery is not usually possible due to the distal nature of the disease because <coughs> it is involving the terminal or the distal most very small arteries so art, uh, surgery in these arteries are not possible amputation if at all if you do it should be as conservative as possible lumpa sympathectomy nowadays we are not doing it because it's not very effective so thank you very much for watching this video if you think that these videos are very useful kindly share these videos in your social media and subscribe to this channel <coughs> also click the bell button to get notified regarding my latest video uploads thank you once again for watching this video let us meet in an at another episode until then bye bye